It's Wednesday on Your View. Welcome to the show. I am Murayo Afolabi Brown. As always, I have the ladies with me. Hello, Miriam. Hi. How, how are, are you doing? I'm fine. I'm excited. I'm happy. Let's go to break. Stay tuned. Your View will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. So, yesterday at the summit that I attended, the, the theme was Fit for Purpose Education. And everybody there was talking about what is fit for purpose. I mean, the Nigerian education sector right now, do you think is fit for purpose? And I'd like to bring that also, that same question, to the conversation concerning recharge cards. Nigerians on Twitter are saying this morning that, are asking a question actually, that you think setting up recharge cards should go back to the, to go back to the people because in, there was a time where you can actually buy a recharge card on the streets of Lagos every on the streets of Lagos Nigeria, Nigeria. Anybody, anybody was selling recharge cards and was creating jobs but now modernization um, inter integration has now caused for that to move that service to the bank so you're linking your airtime purchase your bank transfers everything is now linked to the bank so we're asking is this fit for purpose for the Nigerian people, for the masses we have, the, the population we have? Do you think, technologically wise, that we are ripe enough to move these transactions that come across as, as a daily bread for the average um, Nigerian on the street into the hands of the bank? What are your thoughts? Do you think it's right? Because on, on social media this morning, it's pretty hot. It's a conversation people are having, and they're asking this question. And it's a question I'd like to also ask our viewers. What are your thoughts on this? Call us on 081-270-53687-0913907694. You can also tweet to us at TVC. Can I please hashtag your view TVC so we can read your tweets? So modernization, you know, we all want to move forward. We think everything should be unsync and synchronized. And yet, there are people saying, you're taking jobs away from us. Mm -hmm. Same way technology is entering our educational system where teachers are using tablets, they're doing this, and they're like, ah, computers start teaching our children. Please, you know, you, okay. so what are your thoughts? Do you think we're moving too fast? Or do you think that um, mm -hmm. we should get with the program? I mean, the world is moving mm -hmm. technologically. Right now. And people are saying, oh, well, bring back Richard Cars to us. We want yeah. to sell it to yeah. everybody. Yeah. So as a selfish consumer, I feel this is my money. I should be able to buy my recharge card wherever I want and in the most convenient way. So for me, it would be like, okay, if they've taken it, find something else. That's as a selfish consumer. But then, you know, you, you, you mentioned something, you, keep, you kept saying fit for purpose, and fit for purpose for the economic realities on ground. For if we look at the data, the number of unemployed Nigerian youths and some of the things that they do. We were talking just last week, we talked a lot about the Okada ban and the fact that, you know, many Nigerian youths, that's, an, that's a way of, a means of livelihood. And if you take that away from them, what then will they do? Does that mean that they'll fall into crime? And um, for recharge card, I remember when I was in university, lots of university students used to do it on the side. It helped them in NYC as well. I know a few people who during their one year they use that to raise funds do and you know help them raise capital for some many things that they were going to do but you know time has passed technology is here to stay whether we like it or not the only thing because we you're saying fit for purpose is this is where government comes in and says you know what this is taking the 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 banks um, they have the they have the wherewithal, they have the technology, they have the money, they have the presence, they have the um, distribution centers everywhere to do this and do the, and do it conveniently and make so much profit on it as well. Um, so that's good for the banks. The banks also are employing people. Right. You know, it's a business. But then we have this teeming number of Nigerian youths. Then now struggling and looking for other means to raise money. So this is where I feel government can come in. Do something for them where they are working in collaboration with the banks so that these people are still able to sell this um, um, recharge cards, but find a way to make it uh, like maybe they're indirect employees of the banks 
to keep it. But if we're talking of, but that's like socialism, you know, and that's not the system that we're working with. But because we say fit for purpose, in what way can government step in right. to make sure that we don't take jobs completely away, uh, lively, means of livelihood completely away from young people? Because young people, it's not like they don't want to do more, but they are not a powerful bank. They don't have all the resources. They don't have all yeah. the, to do it, you know, to that level. It takes money to be able to employ technology to do some sort of businesses, and that's the truth. So at this level, the only thing I can say is government needs to do work with banks to see how, you know, you indirectly employ them. Let me, so let me come to you on this well. because, I mean, everybody is saying, hey, oh, the, the woman on the street doesn't want to be going to start clinical, clinical to start loading. She wants to just go, please, auntie, give me five, uh, 500 naira recharge card. Give me, so, you know, it's easier. So convenience for you is even more convenience for her. So convenience for you is just to do star X, Y, Z and get your phone loaded. But she is not convenient. She'd rather just call somebody to buy and load it. Same thing uh -huh. with my mother-in-law. Mother-in-law, like, well, I said, let me help you. She said, mm. she has bought her return. Yeah, but I mean, why are you going to go and buy now? Uh -huh. Let me load it for you. Mm. Let me see what you're doing. Star this, do it for me. Let me know. Because when you're not there, I want to be able to do it by myself. Yeah. So I won't buy herself. It's called buy from the street. So what do you, do you think is this right? Or do you think we should have both? Or do you think we should just say, listen, the world is moving forward. Everybody get with the program. So, at the expense of um, ease, because I enjoy the ease, I would not lie, but then I thought, I had a few friends who had this WhatsApp group, and when they help you recharge, they get paid, so it's employment for them, and so I stopped using the ease of using my banking app yeah. to recharge, because I know those, my friends, they need that yeah. percentage yeah. of the recharges to eat, so they send you WhatsApp regularly, say, recharge for me, and all of that, and that's how they feed. And so you deliberately focus on that. So that's how I want government to see. So we like the ease. We love the technology and the growth. But look at the numbers of people. If we were to be giving out monies, the, the, what they call the humanitarian aid that they were giving out, 5,000 per mm. indigent persons, how many would you feed successfully? But if you give the person dignity of what they earn, that's much better. And I know for a fact that I've had a few issues, at least twice, on those pl platforms. And they resolved within 28, uh, 24 hours. So it's resolvable. Just as when you have, there's this bank, <coughs> you cannot mention, we're using to recharge um, prepaid meters, to recharge, um, and every time they will fail, they won't even refund. So you will go to the bank, they'll be saying, this transaction didn't pass through here. The bank's system is not even perfect. Ah. So it's not like, I know too many times, mm. they didn't refund the money they did not do anything. And when, you know, when I insisted on give my 5,000 naira back, it's a lot of my sweat. You know, they said the money did not pass through here. Yeah. It was a paper. They don't even have a neat answer. So you saw almost, you're almost frustrated. So if we say it's about ease alone, think about the numbers of people that depend on that system to feed and their dignity. So we, we want growth. How about the banks design what they designed for the, for the POS payments? When the banks did not want the queue and they wanted to create payment and their ATMs were not working, they allowed the POS work. How about you design this? Then you employ people because they have it as their social responsibility. You invite people who will come and they have the machine that once you give them your phone number, your recharge goes in straight just as it goes in the bank. And those people have a right or a partnership with the banks because we should be looking at taking care of more people. Now we are banning Okadas. Imagine that you, know, you have 20,000 people that they say will suffer from the Okada ban on this platform. You have uh, some other form of displacement. This issue of them recharging has displaced a lot of businesses. Just as Mayam said, in the university, I know friends who were millionaires from generating recharge card pins. They started small. Eventually, they built... In fact, that guy built in, at the uh, Yanosashi area. He built a full complex. And they became millionaires from this, only for this banking system to come. So what the banks did was not that they just solved. They just picked a few selects. That's why you must regulate capitalism. The, the same guys who were generating the pins went into partnership with the banks and ensured that they will use the banking platforms, only a few of them. So maybe at the end of the day, they were able to empower only 100 people. So how do we... So there's a huge population. There's a, there's a number of people. Yes. And, I, and the reason why I say that is because I know my mother-in-law is in that, is in, is in that no group. She, when, when, she, when she transacts, so what she, first of all, she doesn't have an ATM. Mm. She goes to the bank to collect her money. She wants still to, does. She still does. She goes to the bank. Good. Give me 20,000 naira. Oh. Then she will calculate and remove minus, I have 100,000 naira, minus 20,000. And what she will do her percentage of And so the figure she has has to, has to, <laughs> has to align with what yeah. she sees. Yeah. And she doesn't, she doesn't align. She'll come to me and go, ah, this is what I calculated. This yeah. is what they sent me. Don't I have to have taking her to the bank. Oh, yeah, recalculate. Show her you can, you know. 
So she's old school and she chooses not to have it. She doesn't trust ATM, she doesn't, doesn't trust any test or anything. Just give me, just give me a Richard Child. So there's a there's a huge population like yes. that. So should we try to go the extra about to integrate them into this new technology or should we find a system that or should we maintain the system that works for them and let them sustain that because we're trying to we don't want to we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't want to take them out of yeah. the whole banking don't, system don't be offended so that system that you know she is in is even being um being cheated presently so when vat was put on recharge cards what you find is that when you buy a thousand naira recharge card from any of the networks they'll tell you to put a, an extra 15 naira which will be charged on the money because if they charge it and you don't pay that extra the person that is selling on the streets will lose their profit because they are in the olden days the network will give them a percentage so they get a profit there was i think there was doing vat then suddenly vat came and i had this issue where i couldn't recharge myself i had to do it on the street and i was asked to pay a hundred naira extra on the thousand naira card and the lady was explaining you know and that that's her profit mm. so wow. even they now are paying more except that has been reversed because yeah. i don't have that detail now if that has been reversed it's fine but even they now are paying more so we need to do more than just say the government is looking for revenue and find a way to balance this. Thank you for taking me there. Government is looking for revenue. That's on that angle. Let me mm -hmm. take this call from Omokwa. Call from Abel Okuta. Good morning. Are you there? Hello, Omokwa. You're live. Hello. All right. Let's talk about revenue for a second because, I mean, when you, when you, when you travel out and you just come back, you have all this information. And I remember that when, when I was driving the UK, there was congestion charge, you know, when you're entering the city because they don't want you driving. <laughs> Rather, you take the buses or the train. And if you have to drive, you have to calculate that do I really need to take a car to this place because I'm going to pass through the city. If I pass through the city, I'm going to pay congestion charge. And once you enter, the camera will pick up your plate number and they send the bill to you. Same thing, there's another one, you see UV ray, something that like if you're not using the type of car, either if the emissions are coming out, you pay a certain charge because you're not using it. Wow. And I'm thinking, if they look Nigerians like this, in fact, <laughs> we'll just burn down the whole country. Because <laughs> ordinary, ordinary, but so the point is that governments are using clever ways outside the country, I know, to get more money. So they're paying their normal taxes. Mm. Their, their normal, their, the regular taxes they deduct from their salaries and other ways. But all that, they're, they're, interestingly, they are finding um, clever ways of getting money from their citizens. Mm. In Lagos, for example, now, I heard somebody was telling me that he went for an Oambe party, that he ran the red lights. That as you were settling into the party, just about to come order, text. just got a text from Lagos, they come and say that you ran the light 20,000 naira day to the ah, in this same Lagos. Yeah. Yes. So they, they were able to capture his data. Mm -hmm. So that's where we are moving to. But as we are moving like that, are we moving too fast? No. Are there people that we need to, and this informal sector, this informal group, they don't, they're not ready to, or they don't, they don't need all this information, all this technology. They just want to be left alone mm. because it works for them. So how would government make money if these informal sectors, we cannot tax them, we cannot charge the, the bully seller, we cannot get, how do I get the bully seller to pay me without taxes? As I'm the one that she, she pays, you know, the informal one. But that's their objective, to, to get more money from citizens, either from the banks, through the phones, through the recharge card. They're trying to get more money from us. Wow. I mean, you have just discussed the topic. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know... Uh, this is, this is, oh, you're going to, once you go to the break, so okay. you have time to assimilate <laughs> and then have a response. Stay with us, we'll be right back. <laughs> Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Hmm. So, have you ever wondered what happens behind the curtains of a man's mind? Or perhaps you're one of those who wonder what men talk about when they gather. Well, here goes. Imagine what it takes to put together the perfect cocktail. Or maybe mocktail. We need a bit of sports, a sprinkling of current affairs, some very deep topical issues, and last but not the least, a healthy dose of grumbling of those we love to hate. And yes, you guessed it, women.
So if you catch the drift, then you're onto something. We will provide you with the right insights into most of your curiosities right here within this beautiful cocktail we call the Black Table. Hmm. So, have you ever wondered what happens behind the curtains of a man's mind? Or perhaps you're one of those who wonder what men talk about when they gather. Well, here goes. Imagine what it takes to put together the perfect cocktail. Or maybe mocktail. We need a bit of sports, a sprinkling of current affairs, some very deep topical issues, and last but not the least, a healthy dose of grumbling of those we love to hate. And yes, you guessed it, women. So if you catch the drift, then you're onto something. We will provide you with the right insights into most of your curiosities right here within this beautiful cocktail we call the Black Table. Hmm. So, have you ever wondered what happens behind the curtains of a man's mind? Or perhaps you're one of those who wonder what men talk about when they gather. Well, here goes. Imagine what it takes to put together the perfect cocktail. Or maybe mocktail. We need a bit of sports, a sprinkling of current affairs, some very deep topical issues, and last but not the least, a healthy dose of grumbling of those we love to hate. And yes, you guessed it, women. So if you catch the drift, then you're onto something. We will provide you with the right insights into most of your curiosities right here within this beautiful cocktail we call the Black Table. Hmm. So, have you ever wondered what happens behind the curtains of a man's mind? Or perhaps you're one of those who... Ladies and gentlemen, make welcome Pioneer Positive Force member, dancing queen of the 80s, non-conformist, Afrobeat historian in her right, and long-standing member of the multiple award-winning all-female show, Your View, Omoyeni, Yeni, Anifula Pokuti, aka Yay! YK Power! Ginger! Yeah, take it, take it, take it. Yeah, yeah, today, ginger me, yeah, ginger today me. we'll go here. Hey, hmm. I didn't read you. Are you sure? Ha. Hmm. I know, I'm not here to answer questions, I'm here to drink. <laughs> We're in trouble today. <laughs> ah, wait, wait till your age. I was close now. Eh? He said 73. He said 75. But that's why I wasn't even born to 75. Damn. So, will I drink out? Eh? You go drink out. Take, take, take. Make a, make a help you. Russian, Russian, Russian. No, be half. Eh? Which half? <laughs> you will make me drink. <laughs> I'll give you a hint. <laughs> Light in, in no. Nepa, Nepa Road. Ah! <laughs> Nepa oh. Road. Nepa Road. In a Ah, <laughs> uh -uh. First of all, my brain cannot uh, memorize everything. A big black bug. A big black dog. Bug. A big black bug. Oh, sorry. A big. <laughs> <laughs> it all starts. Omo ah, hey, Omo Omo fella, Omo Omo Anikola Kpokuti. Oh no, baby, can you kick it? It's my other song, it's not my other song. Eh? Eh? <laughs> <laughs>
heard Lagos State talk about this smart city. It's going to cost us a lot of money. For those who live, Lagosians themselves, for those who will come visiting Lagos, it will cost you a lot of money to enjoy this these facilities of the smart city and so government would look for different ways um, and about those people who you feel that they are being sort of pushed out because like your uh, mother-in-law she still does it you know the regular way the truth is that her the, the percentage of nigerians that are that way her age group is the smallest age group in our country right the, I, i've been asked to pause you mrs okay. lawa good morning are you there yes here. Hello, I go ahead, please. I was one of those who were selling the chat card when I retired. But I find that, that along the line, people were stealing my retired card. So, but they sold over 250,000 as they retiring the chat card for me. So that's how I stopped. It's not the fault of those selling. It is that they are always stealing me for more. So, uh, it's not government uh, problem. It's me. They still, they come, they still. I don't know how you just find out that by the time they, they will ask you they want to buy, or you just find out you give them this the cash card, and they say no, let me back. There are so many tricks that they tricked us to steal our cash card. So it is no government's problem. It is that people are stealing from people who sell cash card. That is why they stopped. Mm. I'm telling you, it's not about security. In fact, it was one of those population uh, uh, ventures. But you see, from a retiree stealing over well over 250,000 retired cars, you know what it means. Mm. So that's how I stopped it. Thank you, Mrs. Lawal. So, yeah, Mrs. Lawal is just saying that um, the other Mr. regular way we've always bought recharge cards has been risky for 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 her, yes, especially. She says true. that they steal from them. Oh yes. So, Mother Ella went through that also. Let me just give you yeah, that, that quick story too. She she they stole from her, mm -hmm. and they, the person that did it such that she she mirrored her phone. So that anytime we see the loads, he the the the, 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 the person gets the the data the data credit. I don't know how they do it. They split it. Look so, at that. So it's like you're you're like you're, you're, you're putting your daughter's number on your phone. So anytime you load, she gets a percent some part of your data. So I kept it's called uh, credit sharing. You know, hey, I don't know about wow. it. Wow. Well, just open kind of. So so given I mean so given that. But well, it happens yeah, everywhere. Yeah, yeah, I understand. But but given that we're heading somewhere. Technology is here to stay, mm -hmm. so and that it will cost us a lot of money. Mm -hmm. And the percentage of people who still use the analog way of doing things, they're really a small number. Um, yes, we have a huge informal sector, and that is, um, government is looking for different ways, even with our taxes, mm -hmm. finding ways to properly tax them. Mm -hmm. Yes, even, you know, we have had that conversation where, yes, we say that they are taxed, but, you know, somehow the funds does not get to where it's supposed to. But now government is going to look for different ways to find how to tax people for using the resources that they are providing for us here in our country. Um, I, I just think that um, um, w what would happen going forward is that we would catch up eventually. Technology cannot move faster than it's, it's not, it's not, I mean, in Nigeria right now, technology is not moving way faster than Nigerians. It's just moving at our own pace. For many Nigerians, if we were to go to maybe like an America or, or Japan or those countries, we will be lost completely because technology is going at their pace. But within, for here, a lot of us are still, you know, we still understand a lot of things. We just need to um, sensitize people um, more. And secondly, people, when they find that the old way does not work for them, just like Mrs. Lawal, she you would prefer to do, you know, the banks. You prefer to do the technological way because it protects her resources. It protects her from being, um, from being, uh, from people stealing from her. Yeah. So yeah. very soon, I, I just, so I just I feel that, that we'll, is... we'll get, we'll catch up anyway. Let me take Hassan. I come to you, Nima. Good morning, Hassan. Are you there? Good morning, Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Please, um, yeah, we should have this. Uh, that means I our mind our minds about this issue of technology. It is not all technology, technology inventions or scientific discoveries that should be all embraced. Awesome. There are implications. There are implications. Look, government should come in here and talk to the man so that they can protect our decay on employment. You understand? To have something to do. It is not everything. So when you look at it from that angle, government is the responsibility of the government to call in and hold it. But look, 
This is a source of employment for people of people. And secondly, how many people among within the Nigerian populace that have bank accounts? There should be a need for people to research and look at it very well so that you'll be able to at, arrive at a logical conclusion. How many people have bank accounts? Compared to people with their handset, how many of them? Up to tomorrow, people that are selling chess cards are still making their money. You understand? But the only thing is this. Federal government, state government should come in to hold anything that will create a problem or will even make the unemployment work in our society. Good morning. Thank you very much, Hassan. Yes, Nima, you So, I was going to say that um, <clears throat> what Mrs. Um, Lawa was trying to explain was the risk of carrying the cards around. And the fraud that was happening then was that, you know, all you needed to do was steal a person's umbrella and their bag and all their capital has gone. But even in the bank with their technology, they didn't have a solution to it. So, the people's USSD pin were easily picked. The fraud is happening and the bank would deny knowledge of it. All these banks... They will deny any knowledge of it. They cannot resolve those issues. Even when internally they can, they don't try to. You mentioned an issue of fraud. This one happened to me. And it, to me, it is totally unbelievable that it is possible. With BVN, with bank, uh, phone number linking and all of that to the NIMC, I just could not believe. So we have a modem. And you know modems come with a small SIM. <coughs> so my husband went to recharge it at a, one of these networks office in Festac. The guy that handled it. So that, you know, after it was set up, he recharged 40000 on it. He used a um, sharing code and moved 20000 of that money. We were expecting it to last a particular period, and so he ran out. And I was like, that's not possible. This is how much I put on I was like, I will use to put that kind of... I said, of course, it will run, it will run this long, and then you get more, uh, you know, megabytes and all of that. And we called. The first person we called said it was impossible, that we must have authorized it. Nobody takes out that SIM from a modem. He said, no, it was done with a USSD transfer. By the time we called another person in higher authority and he was explaining to us, it was done from their office. Imagine that. So these frauds, they don't have an end. And oh, so what you're saying frauds like that happen, you see, usually the reason why technology is used is you can trace it. Mm -hmm. You should be able to say, okay, this is what happened. Upon. Somebody should be able to go to the back end Thank you. to find out. The back end person refused to take for that. So the, the people again, because machines can't work themselves. Oh. We the people work the machines. So if I choose not to go to the back end, if I choose not to check, that's it. So technology is great. Technology is bad. Uh -huh. It just means that the person that's supposed to do the it's check corrupt. So just still the same that is really safe. Yeah. So if you see, if you think that okay, because they are stealing recharge cards from their sell from the sellers, let's just disempower them. Let's put the recharge cards no. in the more safer place. How safe is the technology that we are so, talking about? So, no, I think the conversation is really what the pros and cons are. Of it for different types that you use. So if you use the old way, at the pro, the pros be, more than the cons. At the cons more than pros. And to be honest, with technology, <laughs> it's better to go that way. And then whether we like it or not, whatever type of um, means we decide to go, there will always be people who will try to circumvent it. There will always be criminals. And it is for people to learn, um, you know, how to catch them. Our police now, they would go from um, knocking on the door police to forensic investigation, checking through phones okay. and, and data. They'll have to up, update and update yes. themselves as well. So the tr um, there are a few tweets here. Let me yes, just read them. Yeah. Uh, this person, Bill, okay, Bill Kiss says... Um, my take is that being conservative makes us want things to stay the same. We keep comparing Nigeria with the rest of the world, but we refuse to do what they did to get where they are today. We can't evade tax forever. It's a sad reality, but we've, but we've got to pay something. And then um, Posh Mama says, it is wrong for people to be standing inside the sun, rain, crowding the streets to sell recharge cards when we can easily buy it from our phones. This is 2022. Mm -hmm. Everything should be going digital. There's so many areas in our economy that is underemployed. We need heavy industrialization with a view to be an exporting country. That's where the employment See, is. Some Nigeria also says, it's wrong for the banks to engage in this minimal retail trade. Banks have left basic banking and now recharging airtime, electricity, cable, TVs. It's we, wrong. We see, they kind of both sides. It's, it's not point. wrong. It's wrong. Because we're trying it's to so trace. I want you to go check your account. You know mm -hmm. how you watch a movie, a Hollywood movie, you know? And I just like, put in your name. I know last, how much you charged your card last. I know how much you paid. I know the channel you watched for your TV the night before. How? You're suggesting, once you pay your bill, 
And it can show us everything about you. Yes. Not from that. But Nigeria, we don't want that. We want to stand in the same country that we're constantly fighting in We want to do it. We want to stand, do the manner of we're standing in the long queue than electronic because we don't want to stand that. It's easy for you to vote electronically. The argument is the will. To do the right thing, no matter the Let level of the development we are on. And we come back, we we'll continue this conversation. How can you stay with us in, right back. in the office? Okay. Action. Hmm. So. Have you ever wondered what happens behind the curtains of a man's mind? Or perhaps you're one of those who wonder what men talk about when they gather. Well, here goes. Imagine what it takes to put together the perfect cocktail. Or maybe mocktail. We need a bit of sports, a sprinkling of current affairs, some very deep topical issues and last but not the least a healthy dose of grumbling of those we love to hate and yes you guessed it women so if you catch the drift then you're on to something we will provide you with the right insights into most of your curiosities right here within this beautiful cocktail we call the Black Table. Hmm. So, have you ever wondered what happens behind the curtains of a man? Ladies and gentlemen, Make welcome Pioneer Positive Force member, dancing queen of the 80s, non-conformist, Afrobeat historian in her right, and long-standing member of the multiple award-winning all-female show, Your View, Omoyeni, Yeni, and Ikula Kuti, aka Yay! YK Power! Ginger, today, today we'll go here. Hey, hmm. I don't read you. Are you sure? Huh. I know I'm not here to answer questions, I'm here to drink. <laughs> We're in trouble today. <laughs> ah. Wait, wait till your age. I was close now. Eh? I said 1975. He said 73. He said 75. But I wasn't even born to 75. Damn. So will I drink out? Eh? You go drink out. <laughs> take, 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 make a go make a help you. Rush and rush and rush on. No be half. I Which half? You will make me drink. I'll give you a hint. <laughs> Lights in, you know. Nepa, Nepa Road. <laughs> Nepa Road, Nepa Road. In Avel Kuta. First of all, my brain cannot uh, memorize everything. A big black bug. A big black dog. Bug. A big black bug. Oh, sorry. A big. He does that. Oh, mo ah, hey, oh, mi oh, mo fella, oh, mi oh, mo anikula pokuti. Oh, no, be kini kekele. It's my audio song. It's not my audio song. Thanks for staying with us. We're still discussing this issue of recharge cards. Do we leave it as doing our online transactions or do we go back to 
letting regular Nigerians have the opportunity to sell recharge cards so you can make an earning for themselves. That's a conversation on Twitter this morning. Uh, Nima, you're going to add something to Yeah, that? because you were talking about this bio data and tracing and how important data and all yes. of that is. And I'm wondering if a network that is involved with the NIMC in registering phone numbers gives a number and say this number moves money from a modem. Yeah. Or this is a no number that receives money from your your phone number and they are refusing to give you name and they are refusing to do anything about it. When you're complaining as a customer, what's the reliance? Yes. Uh, on so we need to hold these networks more accountable. They, more, they, more, they need to do more. Yeah. They need to do more because at the risk of embarrassing yourself, going online, shouting and closing down their office, risking police officers, which they already guard their offices with, there's little or nothing you can do because the money you will pay so for, it, for a criminal investigation, you will sometimes yeah. just be discouraged. Let me take Mr. Bayer from Kwa. Good morning, Mr. Bayer. Mm. Good morning, You're live. Go ahead, please. Bayo. Yes, I'm sorry to bring you ladies back. I was asked about the man I spoke about the uh, adoption from the last, last week. Sorry? Last what? Last week, she spoke, she spoke about the uh, adoption and surrogacy. I want to get if I can get a uh, direct line. Adoption and surrogacy. Maybe I'm, yes, yeah, area, I'm sure they will sort that out for you. I don't know okay. what you're going to Yeah. Thank you very okay. much for calling. Okay. Any tweets? Okay, so. Okay, do you have tweets? Because I just wanted to say, see, that is very is valid. I mean, as technology advances, there will be loopholes to criminals who take advantage. And what it will mean is that we also will have to educate ourselves and enlighten ourselves on the best way to protect ourselves in this new world. We're constantly hearing of companies. I mean, it was even in the papers, companies that are um, attacked by hackers yeah. in Nigeria like nearly every day. The mm -hmm. numbers are high. Mm -hmm. So we'll have our children going to school to learn about how to protect <coughs> you know, companies and things like that. So it's just great. whether we like it or not. The world is going to change. Technology is here to stay. All we have to do is just keep up. Somebody was even saying that. It's like taking us back to um, email, either the night post. Mm -hmm. So saying, oh, my mommy cannot, they doesn't have an email address. She doesn't have an email. <laughs> just send her email by night post. Like, ah, uh, night post done, it's gone. Pass. So, the night post is there. Don't let them hear you. So, <laughs> Twitter, <laughs> is, yeah. No, they are not a career coming. <laughs> so, Twitter is answering us. Obaleye, July, Amy says, if not for the involvement of banks, we could be buying 500 naira card for 550 naira as increase in prices of Paper and ink, mm -hmm. another thing. And transport from the office. one place <laughs> to the place of purchase. So they have to as Banks make it, makes it comfortable and exactly. to charge any time. So why don't we just educate those who do not know and how? To I think that I think there are ways to capture this large number of unemployed inside this matter. Posh yeah. Mama says. Okay, there are other ways. Okay, so so there's another issue. That Okada thing you raised. I was complaining that I was I had to walk like long distance <laughs> from the train station to the place I'm going to Bus stay station. because I don't have a car to run so the point is that yeah they'll say oh, we don't have trains here yeah we don't have trains here but you the, the idea is that we ban a it will affect a lot of people but at the same time it could also create other jobs because I was seeing scooters so you bring somebody who's in schools and you start buying scooters. You start using scooters. Is that that you created a new? Even kids had scooters. Yeah. So you have created a new. So one way you close one. Yes. You open up another opportunity. For because if I, if I, if if, if government says I'm banning your car today, I'm thinking as a businessman, ah, I have ten million kiniko. Let me import about hundred thousand scooters mm. and I sell it off. That's business for me. Mm. For you, so it's well, also before you import those scooters, you make sure that government also understands when it comes to development. You need to. Uh, make sure we have proper Roads. pedestrian <laughs> passage <laughs> because especially and Lagos roads. Another you thing be... I saw, ma'am, that yeah. opportunity because when you go to the market, you get you get like you tell you help goes in the, in the bag, right? Yes. So she goes to the market, buys it, buys a stoop in the bag, jumps on a car, a car drops her in the house. Yes. Now because we don't have a car over there, yeah. they have these trolleys. Mm -hmm. So they go with the trolleys. Okay. If somebody brings in that trolley now yeah. because now. The Okada cannot carry you. Mm -hmm. So you need to carry Lilo bag yeah, and be yeah. working. And that's a lot of stress. Yeah. Somebody brings in trolleys and sells trolleys. You know, that's, that's a crazy business. So there will be opportunities. We'll space for trolleys to park me here. No, not trolleys. I'm supposed to trolley. This one's not trolley. Just to carry all your market yes. uh, produce in it and take it home. It's easier. So the point is that if you close one door, other doors will open. But we need to start creating, thinking creatively and accept the reality necessity. of today. Of today. So, well, yep, Posh Mama yeah, says, ahead. I spend more on recharge since bank size selling than I, when I had to buy on the streets. If I had to load 5K, 5,000 for internet, they will tell you they don't have. That they only have 500 or 200 available cards. And so you start to buy and then you're adding up to, to reach the recharge card, so which was stress. Mm, like like a, a, oh, okay, okay, you want to? 
Okay, says there's nothing wrong if banks engage in menial retail trading. I think it's in response to someone who said that um, banks should not be involved in menial retail, retail trading. Said some heartless beings caused a lot of damage to manual recharge, the same way they are doing with POS. Although I recharge most bills manually, you pick what works and is safe for you. Okay, that's all we can take on this segment. I think in a nutshell, yes, we understand the pains of those who um, are losing the opportunity to sell recharge cards manually, um, to retail sell that to people. And we understand that. But we're saying that for every closed store, other opportunities can open for other things. So we're also saying that even the technology part of it, there are ways, it makes it easier, but also we need to ensure that the, the, um, the, um, the service providers take, uh, take them, are held accountable for all the malpractices that go on behind because people do steal from some people and divert data and funds to other accounts. So these are, these are loopholes they made the, the service providers must be able to close. You're going to add something, Mariam? No, just to say that, you know how Nigerians are, how resilient we are. I mean, this recharge card was going down. Now, we have POS. You want 1,000 Naira, you give them 11,000 or 11, uh, 10,500. Mm -hmm. You just find a way, just to, in yes. agreement with you that when one door closes, another no, one just door. opens. Yes, yeah. Okay, that's all we can take on this segment. When we come back, hmm, Ima fought hard for us not to take this topic. <laughs> we fought back. But nah, this topic, we must take it. Stay with us. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> when times are tough, we know that as a mother, one thing you should never compromise. Hmm. So, have you ever wondered what happens behind the curtains of a man's mind? Or perhaps you're one of those who wonder what men talk about when they gather. Well, here goes. Imagine what it takes to put together the perfect cocktail. Or maybe mocktail. We need a bit of sports, a sprinkling of current affairs, some very deep topical issues, and last but not the least, a healthy dose of grumbling of those we love to hate. And yes, you guessed it, women. So if you catch the drift, then you're on to something. We will provide you with the right insights into most of your curiosities right here within this beautiful cocktail we call the Black Table. Hmm. So. Have you ever wondered what happens behind the curtains of a man's mind? Or perhaps you're one of those who wonder what men talk about when they gather. Well, here goes. Imagine what it takes to put together the perfect cocktail. Or maybe mocktail. We need a bit of sports, a sprinkling of current affairs, some very deep topical issues, and last but not the least, a healthy dose of grumbling of those we love to hate. And yes, you guessed it, women. So if you catch the drift, then you're onto something. We will provide you with the right insights into most of your curiosities right here within this beautiful cocktail we call the Black Table. I ask questions if I want to ask questions. And if it's something that I saw coming, I may not even ask questions. I may just... I may even tell you I saw this what if, what if it's in person? Mm -hmm. But then, would it make a difference where? So, like... This person might just say, you poop can't just be on third me language. <laughs> on a bike. <laughs> and the person say, babe, I cannot do it again. And you lose range. <laughs> so what would change what would change the scenario? For, like 
It doesn't matter where. Do you want to have like a fancy dinner hey, like the film you were meant to be? No, 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 no. Like fancy or be right. Or do you want to be on the street? No, carry me. Don't fancy dinner. Or you might just on a run for treadmill. Or you not a job. Don't tell you. You're loose for your web. Now I don't turn that same thing more than. So what? Which would it be? Because I'm like. In person, you have the closure that you want and a few injuries. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> that, that's one place. It could be inside the car. You can sit inside the car. Why car? Electric. Why not bike? Who will be driving? Why bike? Who will be no, driving no, at this point? The car will be stationary. Pray I'm not the, the one driving. The car will be stationary. <laughs> because I'll go, I'll go mad at them. You can't be told me like me. I'm going to drive near water where we're going. All of us, all of us. You can't see that. Ladies and gentlemen, please help welcome to the show, La General, the one and only Pere Egui. Which of the following is false about teeth? Read, read we are again. born with 20 primary teeth. Hmm. Teeth are the hardest substance in the body. Teeth are the strongest bones in the body. Teeth is not a bone, actually. Teeth, uh, teeth uh, can self-repair. The strongest bone in the body. No, teeth is not a bone. Final answer. Teeth is not a bone. Thanks for staying with us. We're still discussing this matter of Nigerian um, living, especially those in the health sector, especially because the Minister of State was saying that we need to be patriotic, and that's what we want to discuss about. Mm -hmm. What exactly is patriotism? Mm -hmm. uh, because sometimes it's easy for us to point fingers, but I think we're all in this issue of, are we patriotic enough? enough. Because in the various levels of our lives, everybody at some point have done things that does not um, enhance patriotism mm -hmm. across our country, which is something we must also indict ourselves on. However, going back to this matter of patriotism, how do we define patriotism as, as, a, as a health define, worker? Okay. But I understand based on this circumstance that we're talking about. So sometimes we elect a few of ourselves to manage our common wealth, our mm -hmm. common resources. And so those few sit down and prioritize where A goes, B goes of our joint resources, you know, and prioritizes which areas affect us more and then share resources across board. Mm -hmm. And so when you see these same people come out and say, Create a difficulty and say, no, there's no funds. What are doctors on strike for? They don't, no funds. I remember when lecturers had to go on strike back when I was in school. State universities, we pay school fees. We were not like the federal ones whose hostel fees and all that were subsidized. And our lecturers were made to join the strike. And one of the grievances was that, ah, look at how we work. We write thesis, we do research, we do all of that. We don't leave this spot. We, we can't go. go. Um, our houses, we can't afford. We can't afford so many things. And we see the politicians, when we have to go and write speeches for them, how they live. Mm -hmm. You know, they come into school to sponsor maybe one course or one event or the other in big cars with all the security. And we believe that if they can afford this for themselves, which is not from their direct funds, they can also do better for, you know, for workers per sector. Mm -hmm. So you'd expect that these people sitting down will be thinking, how will the pensions be taken without us having to strike? But we saw that back then, they would allow people to finish retiring and not pay them pension. So what yeah. is that person really living for? Mm. And when people start to lose hope at life like that, they will look for better alternatives. lives, yeah. alternatives for themselves. If you, if you have a company, you are not doing better for your staff. You can't blame the staff when that staff has to go. Mm. Whenever that staff has to do better for themselves, you have to support them to go. Mm. Or you do better to keep them. You motivate people to stay with you. You give them things that you know will keep them. And so... The, most, uh, the least patriotic, like I said earlier, are the if, 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 if you select few that we have selected to manage our common resources. Yeah. We should do better. Okay. They, now, they should prioritize health. If health becomes an emergency in this country, there will be a problem. Listen, there are things that we need to prioritize. Education is prioritized. Yeah, no, right. Our children are home. Maybe, so maybe, everybody can now say... No, maybe maybe, maybe it is an indirect way to manage population. You want people to just die. Okay, let me... So let, me let me... Let me... Because if it's not prioritized... No, I'm just telling you that anybody can make an argument. Because I, I was about to say I've been, I've been home for yeah. six or seven days. Yeah. No, so no, I, think no, I, also, no, I, I agree with you. Health is equally important. I'm just no, like, no, there are so many priorities across. We can actually debate that. Let me take a basket and I come to UBC. Good morning, Basi. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. You're live. Go ahead, please. Good, good morning. Good morning. Mm -hmm. good, good morning, morning. Good morning, morning Basi. 
I have a first time caller. Welcome, Welcome to the show. Uh, yeah, you're talking about uh, people in the medical field leaving the country. Hello? Yes. Can hear you. you were talking about... Yeah, you were talking about people in the medical field it's leaving the country. Hello, Morayo. Please continue now. We can hear you. See, go ahead. Go ahead. Yes, so um, I had to quickly get the meaning of devotion, uh, the meaning of um, patriotism right now, so that we have a context to what we're talking about. And it means devotion to and vigorous support for one's country. This is in irrespective of your location. Because we have a lot of Nigerians who have traveled because they needed to make ends meet went overseas, all their funds, they are repatriating it back to the country. They are f sending money home, they are feeding people, they are building houses, they are setting up businesses. They are not doing anything. They are not investing anything there. They are bringing the investment some, back here. Not all. Yes, some of them are doing that. And that is patriotism. They are there, but they have their country at heart. And when I have conversations with people abroad, most of them envy us that are still here. Like, I wish I knew. I would have just tried to make it better. I wish I can just come back. My heart is in that country. They want to come back. Mm -hmm. But because it was difficult for them, for some people, some things are just a bit easier. Your path is just a bit you know, easier for you to just get the job, even though the money is not that much. You just find a way. For others, they have got, even those that have first class, uh, second class, upper, no, no way to just make it till they left. And okay. they started doing, hold on, no, please. And they started doing well there. And now they are repatriating those funds here. Meanwhile, your government, they don't have businesses here. Most of them have their businesses. If you go, the first time I went to Dubai, there were malls that the Dubai taxi drivers were calling at and saying, is your minister, oh, you're from Nigeria. That is your minister's uh, uh, mall. That is your governor's mall. That is your president's mall. They were calling out specific malls owned by Nigerians. Why didn't they set up those businesses here? And we're talking patriotism. And those politicians or businessmen? Politicians. We're talking patriotism. So if you have to appeal to Nigerians that you need to be patriotic, understand that first of all, it's about devotion from the heart. Wherever I find myself, uh. I am for Nigeria. And I will do everything in my power to make Nigeria work. What are you doing to show us that you're serious about this patriotism you're preaching? You want to Let take me take call? this call from Hassan. Hassan, are you there? Good morning. Good morning, Moral. You're live. Go ahead, please. Good. Um, you see, I can see this issue of brain brain from three angles. One, unemployment in the country can justify people living the country abroad. That's why it's justified. But people on the paid job, professional jobs, living the country, mm. I saw it from the angle, from the premise of first class trouble. In this side of the country, people are this kind of class trouble I want to belong to. Let me go abroad. You are on a paid job that people are even bribing the employer to get them there. And you are leaving the country over there. You see, on this medical ground, there should be a law that will make it compulsory that after your graduation, you must work for humanity in your country for more than 10 years for you to move to another country. That is for patriotic ground. Yeah. But you see, people, the way they see it here, even the even ministers, you see their children abroad, their wives abroad, and they are part of our problems here. Mm. Then how do, you, how, do, how, do, how do you rationalize it? Mm. Because in this Lagos, I know very well, it's an aim for you to have a relative abroad. So it's a passion. It's no longer a matter of, you know, I like my country, I want to go and have a better place somewhere. It's not about that. Mm. How do you rationalize a minister with his children abroad working abroad? Mm. How do you rationalize a head of state with his children and family abroad? And he's living here, people. Most people, that's what they do. You know, thank you very much, Hassan. You know, we, so wait, sometimes when you travel, you, you, you see different things. Yeah. And you see how, for example, like many houses in the, um, in the UK right now, they're very, very small, small houses. compact. And it's because wealth is distributed.
distributed. Mm. If our wealth was evenly distributed in our country, nobody would be building five bedroom house. No I, mean, I mean, there's no need for this big, big. I mean, I mean, it was so easy for me to wake up, clean the house. We, we, we when I travel, yeah, yeah, mop, sweep. In terms of, I won't do my house because I have a help because I have a bigger house. Have a big house. So I need that kind of bigger house. How many rooms can I sleep? I mean, how many how many beds can I sleep at a time? How big do you need my kitchen to be? So when you go to, to a different country, you realize that they have small, small, mm. small house because mm. this world oh, is God. even like many oh, people. Not, yes, they are rich folks, but the basic needs that you said earlier, everybody has yes. it. So when you when, when you talk about when mm. leaders are taking phones and they are harnessing this and you are talking about yeah, 24 years after dollars. 23 million, 334 million dollars. And you're thinking to yourself, how many years? This is the issue Nigerians are having. So I get that. Mm -hmm. But I also need Nigerians to understand that we are not producing anything. Yeah. We are consumers. We are consuming. A top of I mean, who are these um, those who are who, those who need foreign um, dollars mm. to import are not having money to import. Mm -hmm. Why? Because some of us on patriotic like me, I let me let me cook to my own first. <laughs> I will say, eh, please give me a dollar. I want to travel to UK for holiday. Mm. Can my economy afford me to travel to UK? No, that's the truth. Let's just be realistic ourselves. Can our economy should I, as a citizen? Okay, yes, I make some money. I want to travel. I want to have fun. Yes, but if the state of our economy, do we really should be? Should we? Should we really be on the first? So I'm, I'm, I'm just trying. I'm putting myself mm -hmm. as we Nigeria. We're talking about patriotism. Mm -hmm. Let us lay it on the table. Does not mean we're all have... not patriotic. Mm -hmm. All of us, we all have our issues because Great. if you want to say let us be patriotic, I shouldn't even leave this country at all patriotic. because my, my economy cannot afford even though I can afford it with my money. But I shouldn't leave, I shouldn't be asking for money from the bank because the, the bank should rather give the, the, the person that wants to import maize to, 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 to grow um, corn for the population. What is over me, the who no, 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 no. What is stopping the bank from not giving the person who wants to and import Because we're not means. producing now. We don't, we're not yes. having money to bring money. <laughs> so I'm, I'm just telling I'm, I'm not confusing you. I'm just saying that the, uh, the, the, the reality, if you want to talk about patriotism, mm. is on all levels. Mm. Let us not just point figure that it is you. No. We, all of us, are right. unpatriotic at some point, right. at some level. I, I would explain. On I the first point, it's like you shook hands inside my mouth when you took that point. But on the second one, it's a culture and it starts from the top all the time. Mm -hmm. Some people made it seem trendy. Some people did not. We don't consume. We, in fact, we just we said in our hardship makes some people they consume back of biscuits. Yeah. Locally produced. Yeah. They will eat at it and say, is that the biscuit you're offering? If you put it on a saucer and put a cup of tea that you can afford, maybe locally produced uh, tea. Nobody, when you, they, will, they will size up the residence. Right. Mm. If some people visit you and you're living in a modest yeah. house where you are comfortable, they, consider you they will not consider it from comfort. They will yeah. consider it as affluence. Yeah. And it's started from the top. Yeah. So everybody, there's a mm. saying in the Malachite, people, everybody is struggling for the top. The top can accommodate all of us. We wanted the grandeur. We don't know king house again, different from common house mm. again. Everybody in a king. Mm. Yeah. We, this house. started from the top. It started from government. The culture started from mm. government. Government whose health care is abroad started the culture. Yeah. Before, the government whose health uh, yeah, doctor is abroad started the culture. Yeah. They're the ones who made it seem mm. that alternative is there and you yeah. should take it. Right. If the alternatives they themselves put it, put it here, yeah. patriotism is what China did. They lost their borders. Let us stay within first. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. Mm -hmm. After a few years, they can now, they now develop the recently. Who's doctor in call. Africa here? Who's doctor? Who's, who's, who's the president was taking treatment within his country recently? And uh, and the, the, the made headlines. The country his citizens was praising the president. That president was simply setting a culture that our doctors here will do it. Yeah. Yeah. Good morning, Yusuf. Are you there? Good morning, Yusuf. Are you there? Yeah, I'm there. You're live. Go ahead, please. Hello, good morning, all. Good morning, sir. Uh, I think uh, there is no any country which will have meaningful development mm -hmm. where education and uh, health is relegated to the backdrop. In fact, education and health are key components of human security. And the issue of uh, brain brain cut across so many fields, most especially within the medical sector, as well as the academia. Nigerian doctors are one of the most thorough bred doctors, well trained, but uh, due to poor enabling environment, where we are talking about also strike. In fact, the medical doctors are typically issued a strike warning by two weeks extension. So, in the country, it's not to know what are even its own priorities. 
when you modulate your health, you modulate education, in fact, no any meaningful development can be achieved because it's a critical component of human security. It is only when you have good education. In fact, like what Asu is even saying, would Asu is not even asking for money to be paid based on Europe standard. Even what is even the African average? You cannot attract money or you cannot attract forex right. when, when, when you are always on education tourism or medical tourism. When our children or the children of the rich are studying abroad, in fact, that's what Asu has been clamoring for. When you make it standard, the people will not leave. As I am speaking to you, people are living in the academia in drops. And it all boils down on the enabling environment to leave. What is the African average? That's what is the scenario? Of it's muffled. It's, very, it's a bit muffled. I didn't hear that. I hope that our viewers heard him. Yeah. So one of the reasons I don't want us to seem like we're confusing the conversation is um, everybody has a role to play, like you always mention here, and I agree with you on that. But there are roles that beget roles. There are roles that once they are sorted, every other thing will flow. It's like a father who has a family. There are certain things that you put in place and every other person will align. I cannot be making decisions for my father in the house as a young girl who is growing up. That daddy, you have to do it like this. You have to do it like No, that's not my place. He has to set everything, set the tone on how every other person will align in the house. And that's what we're saying, that government needs to set that tone. People in the uh, US, uh, UK and all of that, they save for vacation outside their country. As they are collecting their salary monthly and planning, paying their bills, they are saving for vacation. The, there was a time I was in Dubai. One of the people that we were in the plane were having a conversation. I said that as their money comes in, they are taking some pounds and keeping it aside because they've told themselves that there's a time to rest and they can travel around the world with their savings. You can follow through their okay. process and get that. So that doesn't mean they are not patriotic to their country. They just want to be able to see life from other perspectives. That's on one side. Now, if um, there is no standard of living that's where strife comes in and most of us are right now especially in nigeria in survival mode mm. people are just trying to survive yeah. that is what we are seeing and because the government is not doing what it needs to do people are now struggling double mm. to not just survive but to ensure that their children and their children and their children's children survive thank you for taking me there Thank you for taking me there because let me read this message from somebody. It says that, do you know that most of the skilled workers are relocating just to give their children a better education? Lisa! That's so, that's so, so that we can't let our patriotic attitude be a barrier to our children's growth future. and progression. Nobody I'm do doing that. well here, but seeing my kids suffer for no fault of theirs mm. hurts me daily and I'd rather be there. So, so it's not because the school worker is not unpatriotic. Yes. It's like, this is my children. If I leave my child here, they'll be discussing how to grow in 20 years. So let me just carry myself and go because it's not about me. It's yeah, about my children. On YouTube here, yeah. 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 as we're talking yeah. this morning, sorry, darling, on YouTube here, people were already asking questions. Which school should I send my children to? They have been sitting. One said they have been sitting at home. I, 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 um, she has like about three of the kids sitting at home since Asu Strike. She's thinking of sending them to one of these uh, countries, maybe, um, uh, what is this, uh, Kutonu or so, just to do their education so that they can finish on. People are looking for options. Because even if you want to love other people, the scripture says, love your neighbor as yourself. We don't pay attention to that yourself. Okay, let's do a quick break. First. When we come back, we continue. Mm -hmm. We take a few calls and read some tweets. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view. Hmm. So, have you ever wondered what happens behind the curtains of a man's mind? Or perhaps you're one of those who wonder what men talk about when they gather. Well, here goes. Imagine what it takes to put together the perfect cocktail. Or maybe mocktail. We need a bit of sports, a sprinkling of current affairs, some very deep topical issues, and last but not the least, a healthy dose of grumbling of those we love to hate. And yes, you guessed it. Women. So, if you catch the drift, then you're on to something. We will provide you with the right insights into most of your curiosities. Right here, within this beautiful cocktail we call the Black Table. Doubt and fear doesn't occur at the canvas, it shows in the canvas.
It shows the conation of raw earthen material slapped, stroked, and molded at a pace provided by the doubt and fear. Every move way in the struggle of one to the other, merging the past to the present, brushstrokes of colors seen but not known. For when the wailing stops, the pieces settle down in abject beauty erected for a century of a century. Speaking, advocating, protesting as the arts are meant to be. And ask questions if I want to ask questions. And if it's something that I saw coming, I may not even ask questions. Mm. I may just... You, I may even tell you I saw this what coming. If, what if it's in person? Mm -hmm. But then, would it make a difference where? So, like, this person might just say, you fool can just be on third language. <laughs> on a bike. <laughs> and the person say, Babe, I cannot do it again. <laughs> and you lose range. <laughs> <laughs> so, what would oh change? God. What would change the scenario? For, like, does it matter where? Do you want to have like a fancy dinner, Wait, like the film you were no, mentioning? No, 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 no. Like, find it up here. Or do you want to be on the street? No, carry me. No, no, no. Or even I don't just on a run for treadmill. <laughs> <laughs> or you not a job. You don't tell you, you lose for your web. <laughs> No, don't turn oh, yeah. attempted mother. <laughs> <laughs> so what wh which would it be? Because I'm like in person you have the closure that you want and a few injuries. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's one place. It could be inside the car. You can sit inside the car. Why car? Why not bike? Who will be driving? Why bike? Who will be no, driving? No, no, at the this car point? will be stationary. Pray I'm not the, the one driving. The car will be stationary. <laughs> because I'll go I'll go mass up. You can't be told me like me, I'm gonna drive near water where we must you consider. We're still discussing patriotism because Minister uh, for Health, was, Minister of State for Health, was saying that we should be patriotic and stay back. He also added that the government has, um, in the last three years, released 100% of the health budget. So what they're saying is that the money that was allocated to the health sector was released and implemented. Now, what, what this means is that they're actually working towards... And, um, and better facilities and obviously um, better development within the health sector. And with this, we, we we can't see it now, but it is in the next few years. He's advising that mm -hmm. health workers within that sector be patient because government is working towards it. I have a call, um, Oyin from Ujodu. Um, good morning, Oyin. Thanks for calling. Are you there? <clears throat> Hello, Oyin. Okay, I think we lost that call. So the issue is, yes, we know the health sector has been hasn't really been optimal in the last few years. But he's saying. We are working on it. In the last three years, all the 100% but the, the amount of money that was budgeted for this sector was released, and we're using the money. And um, in the next few years, you see difference. So, again, the question is, can you stop anybody from leaving? Of course Because not. these are young people. These are people who are hungry. They, as you said, they don't even think of themselves. They're thinking about their children. So that's why I said that. Is it strategy to stop or strategy to attract to bring back, so somebody who is home, who knows that my children have gone to education, really it's because of the children at education. My children, have, they've graduated. They are, they are now 18 years old, 20, they are fending for themselves. Mm. I have nothing here left. Let me go back home and use my knowledge and resources for Nigeria. Mm. What are we doing to attract those ones to come home? Because those are the ones that we need to train those who are here to even develop the skills that they have within the health sector. So I had a friend who came back after how many years? He was done training his kids and everything. And the first two weeks he landed in Nigeria, he fell seriously sick. One of the reasons he fell sick was the fact that the generator 
of his neighbors were doing boo 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 boo. He hasn't experienced generator <laughs> in years. Mosquitoes were everywhere. Everywhere was littered. You know, the life was shocking already in just two weeks. And he was saying, are you sure I can stay? Are, are you sure I did not make a mistake by coming back? Like, not the, in fact, when he left Nigeria, Nigeria was even better. He said, no, what did you people do to the country? Nothing is working. It was difficult for him. He's still around, managing his health. And the fact that he was able to even get good medical care is, is that he decided to go to public hospital, um, private hospitals so that he can have access to um, good medical health without anything. They strike today and they strike tomorrow and all that affecting it because he came back with some money that he has made there. And he's trying to set up an NGO here to see how he can help vulnerable women and all that. That's somebody who is patriotism. But is the country space done in a way that, is it um, accommodating to somebody who just comes back? Let me pause you. Let me pause you. It's not enough. I never learned my point. No, no, no. It's not enough to say, bring them back, bring them back, bring them back. Let me tell you. Have we made everything for them? Let me tell you. No, no, no. Let me tell you why you can't learn that point. Why can't I? Because the truth is that if you expect Nigeria to be exactly what you're where you're coming from, then you're bringing that. That is silly. That's a silly expectation. No, that's not what I expect. That is very silly expectation. Okay. If you're coming from a first world country, first of all, your brain must tell you, I'm going back to Nigeria. A third world country. Yes. That, that's years. where we are realistically. Nobody's trying to front up it otherwise. Okay. Yeah, in the third world. Okay. Forget that. All right. So we're here. The same way Indians go back to their country. India is one of the poorest countries in the world. Yeah. And they're smart. They live abroad. They come back to their country and start I'm coming to a poverty stricken country. No doubt about that. You see mosquitoes. Mm. You see flood issues. Mm. Standard. Mm. That shouldn't be your problem. Okay. Your problem what is coming. Problem? Your problem. Die here. No, no, no. The problem, what I, what I, what I was telling when, when I traveled, mm. what I was saying Nigerians, like, listen, what we need. Not for you to say, I, me, Mr. John, I want to come back to Nigeria. I want to go and join an NGO. I want to go and help me. That's what we need from you. So you want to be need? frustrated. What do we need? What you need is to form an alliance. Nigerians abroad should come together as a body. Mm -hmm. National Commission on the Abika Dabiri Erewa is helping us in that situation. Mm. What you need to do is form a body okay. individually. Okay. They were telling me that too large to do that. Okay, okay. small is smaller. Small groups. clusters. Small, small clusters of Nigerians. Bring your wealth together. Mm -hmm. Agree on a project. Okay, we were focusing on the southwest. We were focusing on southeast. Okay, we want to do hospitals. We want to do the um, education. Me, I want to do plumbing. I want you know. Focus on a project. Mm. Put your funds together. Come home mm. and do something. Mm. But if you are coming individually, you'll be frustrated. Though. Okay, that's because one. Because individually, we are all going to be frustrated because okay, when, you face, when you face the reality of Nigeria, you'll be frustrated. So we've had people who have come in clusters to do something and they came here and the policies frustrate, frustrated them back home now where they were coming from because for you to pass a file to get this approval you have to bend this that's and not bend true that. now, no, now. Be be that's this not is true. this is stories that we hear on yes. a daily basis and they are frustrated and they go back mm. so we need to we need to tighten our belt and do things right we need to fix ourselves before people will come and help us we need to start doing the help right now in your little corner in your office do you have files you're supposed to pass in the morning that you're waiting for someone to bribe you before you pass that's a problem oh yeah because somebody the, when I was living in Alabado, the uh, church uh, leader, uh, this uh, celestial church, how many times wanted to do the road? They frustrated him. The local government was asking him, he has to pay them first to fix a road mm. that everybody mm. will use. He was here on um, mm. yeah, our yeah. show some time ago, and I asked Genesis. him that question. So, what do you expect him to do? That's somebody who's trying okay. to show patriotism. So, okay. But we ourselves are frustrating God us. bless you. Now, so showing that patriotism, now, you cannot expect people to come from abroad to come and fix you when you have not fixed yourself. Let us okay. work on ourselves. Okay. Yeah. So, I'm talking about, um, you're okay. right. I wanted you to add your something. Point. Yeah. Hmm? So, the issue is a system. Yes. But who runs the system? Us. We. Yeah. We're the people. Yes. So, a government right now can say, okay, I put a policy. For example, I, I, I will share this story because I do some work in education. So, they give you a tablet. Your job is just show up and work this thing so mm -hmm. that the children can have very good education. But some people will just say, they will now start um, cutting corners with the people again. We frustrate the effort. So if we say government do this, government might do. Mm. But with the people, are we ready to do? Yeah. So if government says, I'm going to put an enabling environment to attract you home, those on ground, will they ensure that when you come home that you ask for a loan, they give it to you. Well, will yeah. they do the job? They Is it the same government that will come into your own office as the PAMSEC or as the secretary to come and carry your paper to the other place? No, it is you, you and I, the way the people. So it's not about fixed Nigeria. The government's job is to facilitate, do a policy, 
do this and do that. You, the people, are the ones who run it. Mm. So the man who is very frustrated is not frustrated because the government did not do the job or the government did not do the job. It's frustrated because when the Mr. People... John and Mrs. John did not do their job to carry it out to point, to, to, to point A to point B. Let me go on a break. When we come back, we hopefully move to a different topic. <laughs> Stay with us, we'll be right back. <laughs> Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Esther, you're late again. Esther? Hmm. So, have you ever wondered what happens behind the curtains of a man's mind? Or perhaps you're one of those who wonder what men talk about when they gather. Well, here goes. Imagine what it takes to put together the perfect cocktail. Or maybe mocktail. We need a bit of sports a sprinkling of current affairs, some very deep topical issues, and last but not the least, a healthy dose of grumbling of those we love to hate. And yes, you guessed it, women. So if you catch the drift, then you're on to something. We will provide you with the right insights into most of your curiosities right here within this beautiful cocktail we call the Black Table. It's not just where, but who wouldn't you want to work with? Yes, that's on that angle. So let me find a very, very interesting... <laughs> <laughs> You wouldn't want to work with who? No There's no judgment. No, and I respect, oh, judge you I respect but we won't this judge certain you. type of people. But what I dislike so much is when you, they tend to come to work and then they pour all their resentment from on you. you. Is it me that offended you? <laughs> I'm not the one. I have no business. My mom just come out with you, pay me at the end of the month, and let me go back to my house in peace and sleep. But when it comes to like divorced people, I cannot work with a divorcee. I can't see myself doing that. If I find out, if you can hide this one, but if I find out, why they are nice divorcees? I would just. What if be... they are nice? Okay, now it depends. If you are nice, cool. But if you are the type that you don't know how to keep your anger to yourself, you always throw, you always pour it on somebody. Well, I'll not drop my resignation letter, no matter the amount you're paying me. So you're <laughs> more passive aggressive people. Yeah, I can't do it. I'm so sorry. Oh, definitely. And I cannot work with stingy people. Ah, see this one. Because you cannot be passing me in the morning afternoon. I can say, oh, hi, ah, yeah, I'm okay. Oh, yeah, take 100 naira. Take 10 k. Take 15 k. Hey, no, you don't have to be my sugar daddy or sugar mommy. What, what, see, the way you treat others is the way they will treat you outside. Yeah. And if you cannot treat your workers well, they are not a good boss. If you cannot be dashing me small, small thing or giving me donuts when I'm when I'm working, you are not a good boss. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, make welcome. The one who can make time stand still forever, Mr. Kelechi Amadi. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing, sir? I'm good, I'm good, my brother. You love that intro, Abby. Yeah. It was great. Okay, yeah. Thank we, you. We, we, thank we try you. like that. Thank you, thank you. Now my question, which I feel is a cheap question. Oh, go ahead. What does ISO stand for? <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. That is it. I think I'll drink. Uh, no, you're joking. I'm not joking. Clear your mind. No. <laughs> Shay, you didn't want me. me. You're me. Now. I think I'll drink. Huh? No problem. Okay. <laughs> I've always known this as ISO. I never bothered to know what it means. I know what it means, but I never really bothered to know what the acronym is. Tell me the, the, the brand of camera that I use so much so that you know, I even became an ambassador. That is that's very easy. <laughs> you know, like, it's, out there. it's supposed to be. Yeah. I just said, let me give you this one as a token of my appreciation. <laughs> Sony. Drink! No, 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 I'm not there, I'm not there! <laughs> I'm not there, I'm not there, I'm not there. You did not, you, you did not say final answer. Final answer. You, did not, you did not ask me if that was my final answer. You don't answer. have any choice again. It's only how many, how many cameras do they have? Nikon. I went to drink, I gave you a very easy something. Nikon now. Uh, 
Come closer. A little bit more. Perfect. I have exciting news for you. You asked for it and you got it. Your favorite breakfast show, Your View, will be going to two hours. We're going to have in-depth analysis of the newspaper review and more conversations on the hot topics. The ladies of Your View and I will be staring up our guests to get in-depth into all the various topics and you, our viewers, will have the opportunity to call in and share your views. After all, it's your view. Join us on Your View, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. for a fantastic conversation. Don't miss it. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome showstopper, voice stage and film actor, CEO and celebrity mom, Oluwa Bamike Olawumi. Adeni Bunyo, aka two shots in the air, bam, bam. <laughs> this is mean. I feel set up today. My guards are down. It's not fair. Guys, beg for me now. I'm hearing them okay. saying, please. please no, I hear anybody. Can't you hear it? No, they are saying you should actually drink, 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 drink. Oh, when me was this show, eh? Oh, mo, he's streaming. Drink it! Now! You must even up the game. Mama says, oh man, can me? No! No! Questions if I want to ask questions, and if it's something that I saw coming, I may not even ask questions. Mm. I may just, I may even tell you I saw this. What if, what if it's in person, mm -hmm. but then would it make a difference where? So, like, this person might just say, You put can't just be on third me language <laughs> <laughs> on a bike, <laughs> <laughs> and the person say, Babe, I cannot do it again, <laughs> and you lose range. <laughs> So, what would oh change? God. What would change the scenario? For, like, does it matter where? Do you want to have like a fancy dinner, hey, like the film you were mentioning? No, 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 no. Like, about. Fancy and then, right. Or do you want to be on the street? No, carry me. No, no, no. Or even just I don't want fancy on a day run for treadmill. <laughs> <laughs> or on a day jog. Don't tell you, you're loose for your web. No, don't turn that. Same thing that. So, what, which would it be? Because I'm like, in person, you have the closure that you want and a few injuries. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> that, that's one place. It could be inside the car. You can sit down inside the car. Why car? Why not bike? Who will be driving? Why bike? Who will be no, driving no, no, at the this car point? The car will be stationary. Pray I'm not the, the one driving. The car will be stationary. Pray. Because I'll go, I'll go mass at it. You can't be told me like me. I'm going to drive there water away. Right? <laughs> all of, all of, you all must all consider. All of, all of. <laughs> Gentlemen, make welcome Pioneer Positive Force member, dancing queen of the 80s, non conformist, Afrobeat historian in her right, and long standing member of the multiple award winning all female show, Your View, Omoyeni, Yeni, and Ifula Kuti, aka Yay! YK Power! Ginger! Today, today we'll go here. Hey, hmm. I don't read you. Are you sure? Ha. Hmm. I know I'm not here to answer questions, I'm here to drink. <laughs> We're in trouble today. <laughs> ah. Wait, wait till your age. I was close now. Eh? I said 1975. He said 73. He said, said 75. 75. I couldn't. Fellas wasn't even born to 75. Damn. So will I drink out? Ah? Eh? You go drink. Go. <laughs> take, take, take. Make a, I go make I help you. Russian, Russian, Russian. No be half. Eh? Which half? <laughs> you will make me drink. <laughs> I'll give you a hint. Light in in no. We can't stop Nigerians from relocating because really it's their it's their right to say wherever they want to live. 
uh, we can appeal, as you rightly said, that it's good to appeal to them to stay back. What are the options? And then the government can therefore choose which, which option is better. Do we try to bring back those who have gone, or do we try to stop those who have gone, appeal to them not to leave? But either way, we also need to show, we also need, from my own end, I feel that all of us must show some kind of sign of patriotism at some level. And you're right, when it starts from the top, when the head is the one that is traveling, going for medical abroad, you are seeing all the opulence here and there. And you think, I have small change. I, mean, so I feel to do my own now. You now do yours. So, so that now it becomes the life, the culture. It becomes the culture. Where those who now have the little means now replicate that. And say, okay, we too, we can do a school in Ghana. I can do that. Mm. Because all of us who are also put, and I didn't forget, I forgot to mention this point. Those of us who are also schooling abroad, same thing. You are collecting dollars to go and pay school fees. Mm. Guess what? That dollar could be given to a producer, a, 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 somebody who wants to, um, go, a, a farmer who wants to, who wants to buy maize. Buy, buy maize. Mm. So we are all part of the problem, Mr. Ninima. Go ahead. So this is what I, I would just say to the minister. Create incentives, no matter how little. Mm -hmm. And be deliberate about those incentives for every sector you consider an emergency. Namibia, uh, in 2017, was already recruiting Nigerian doctors. Mm -hmm. They know what they pay them in Saudi. And they offer them exactly what Nigerian doctors were getting in Saudi to come and teach in Namibia, in another African country here, a landlocked country. Because emergency, uh, health became an emergency. Yeah. They, were not, they didn't have enough trained doctors. They don't even know how to start their universities to start to train their own. So they brought in our own. That's a strategy, Nima. So, so Namibians probably couldn't even get their own Namibians abroad back. Mm. So they came to the they ones. Know how. It's, you know, it's possible. It's possible they had that Namibians. Nigerians have the best trained. You know where we were coming from. Yeah. We watch our best things deteriorate yeah. Yeah. because of bad policies. And so people who know that we have gold are taking our gold yeah. to build their own. Yes. And so before you know it, give Namibia a few years. They will have Namibian strength. They won't need Nigerian doctors anymore. anymore. Mm -hmm. So please build the incentives that will keep a Nigerian doctor who has been trained to love and stay here. Yeah. And so that his life is easy. He will not see anything in going abroad. Right. Okay, we have to wrap up on this. Um, you see your own final thoughts on this. <laughs> Let's um, walk the talk. I, I, I want the government to... Uh, uh, and. Let me say this. One of the reasons we are where we are is because it seems like, you know, like when you have a house and you have two different pots of soup, mm. you cook the one for Oga and Madame and children. Then you cook a different pot for the house helps, the drivers, the security, you know, and it's separate. Most of the time, you will not pay attention to what goes into that second pot because it's none of your business. You're not the one eating it. So whether there's maggi, there's salt, it's tasty, it's not, the ingredients are complete, you're, you don't care. That is how the government has been running Nigeria. So they make these policies, but the policies are basically for the poor, and they use a long stick. So, okay, this one, Nafona. The healthcare, where would they do? Nafona. The uh, public universities, Nafona. Our own children, they okay. special pots. Oh, Nafona. Mm -hmm. I'm speaking pigeon. Oh, Nafona. Oh, Nafona. Oh, oh, this one, Nafona. Oh, this is for you guys. <laughs> oh, Nafona. This is for the girls. Oh, yes. Nafona. 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 They're not going to give us our language. They're not going to give us. So, it's for the pots. Nafona. 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 So, if the government decides to say, we all need to be patriotic, and this pot mm. is for everybody, mm. they will pay attention. Yeah. I, I've always said that. If their children are in public universities, ASU will not be where they are today. If they use the public hospitals, the public hospitals will not be where they are. And don't make laws and go and sleep and say, I've made the laws, I've made the policies, I've enforced it, and you are not following through. Nobody does that. You see, it's so it's easy. Called, it's yeah. so easy for us Don't to tell me it's so easy. You are a leader. Mm. You are a leader. I am a leader in my own right. Mm. And I follow through. Mm. I pay attention. I monitor. I get feedback that this is not working, that's not working. I put my head there. You see. I put my head do, there. Let me throw this question Please. at you. Let me throw this question at you. So let us like, imagine. Mm. You're doing very well. You're a yeah. business yes. owner. You're bringing a lot of thoughts. And you, you know, people are saying... You see, you know, run into politics. Do something because you, you, you've run a successful business. Yes. We think you can run a successful yes. state. Yeah. And that's it. Run. And then you become governor. Yes. Now, your children are still young. Yes. Would you now say your, your children will not travel abroad? Yes. Because, because now you're governor? Yes, because I want to serve. See, there are beautiful places in Nigeria. I have gone to almost half education. Of the I'm sorry. No, I'm not okay, yeah, education. That's part of it. Whether it's visitor, whether it's education and all that. I went to public school. Why can't my children go to a public school? Why? I went to a public... Delta State University. I studied political science. I went to a public school. So why can't my children go to a public school? 
So because I now know that my children are going to a public school, I will ensure that the schools are well equipped so that everybody's children can go to a public okay, school. Okay. I have chosen, see, the difference is I have chosen to serve mm. and I will come down from my high horse ah. and serve properly. Okay. I think that makes a whole lot of sense. I think that's a good way to end the show. Thank you very much, ladies. That's all we can take on the show today. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye for now. Ladies and gentlemen, make welcome the Grand Comedian of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Benga the Inca, the first! Woo! OJ right here, 7 of 7, like you already know. Benga right here, 7 of 7, like I'm beginning to know. <laughs> mm. Mm. It's now time for the question. You don't scare me one bit. Bata bata, I go drink. So, okay. so now one chance for me to My, My first, first question. question. Do you remember the names of the winners of that edition of Star Quest? Of course I do. Why uh, do you? And I, and, I, and, I, and I hate myself for this. Because I have this question for you. Final question. No. Where, where outside Nigeria and what year? I think you're the only one that can be wicked. I am thinking because I know back in the day. Don't think, oh, don't think. Answer my question quick, quick. You are thinking too much. I don't like it. The UK. Final answer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I said, God, God, please. Let me to perform outside Nigeria. Wait, 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 wait. And wait, wait, God wait. gave me a trip, a show in Ghana. <laughs> <laughs> drink, my friend, drink, drink. Drink, drink, drink. I don't, I don't, I don't overthink this thing. See where I can yes, you overthink him. I would say you should catwalk. <laughs> Let's catwalk. <laughs> Where are we? No, that's not catwalking. That's, that's good. Do, that's that's good walking. <laughs>still 7 of 7 and we've been doing a whole lot of protesting, protesting. The only thing that remains is just to carry placard. It's about 5 of 7 to be honest because ask your question. I have so much to speak about once we finish. We'll not give you the time because it's 7 of 7. I will make the time now. <laughs> he said he will not ask questions about science. No, 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 He asked a question that was subjective <laughs> about high life and he did not finalize his answer about a kuti question where there are only three of us. Editor, scratch this part out. That could out. have possibly <laughs> composed the music. Editor, scratch this part out. Stupidity <laughs> is an act of ignorance. Hey, God, my day. Was composed by which kuti? Femi kuti. Is that a final answer? Oh God, I'm sure I'm Kuti. No, wait, wait, Femi Kuti. You said Femi Kuti. Kuti. Wait, wait, wait. You can't, can't be allowed. No, no you've you not can't asked me anything. Everyone. You've not asked me anything. We, we, uh, so, my final answer. No. <laughs> All I have to say is yeah. this show is really about drinking. <laughs> That's the whole idea. The questions don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> That's the whole Just idea. Just this is out the window. <laughs> We throw caution to We have no morals right here. On the 7 of 7. <laughs>
So if you catch the drift, then you're onto something. We will provide you with the right insights into most of your curiosities right here within this beautiful cocktail we call the Black Table. Ladies and gentlemen, make welcome Pioneer Positive Force member, dancing queen of the 80s, non-conformist, Afrobeat historian in her right, and long-standing member of the multiple award-winning all-female show, Your View, Omoyeni, Yeni, and Ikula Pokuti, aka Yay! YK Power! Ginger! Yeah, take it, take it, take it. Yeah, today, yeah, ginger, yeah, today we'll go here. Hey, hmm. I don't read you. Are you sure? Ha. Hmm. I know, I'm not here to answer questions, I'm here to drink. <laughs> We're in trouble today. <laughs> ah, wait, wait till your age. I was close now. Eh? I said he said 73. He said, I said 75. Fellas, I, I wasn't even born to 75. Damn. So, will I drink out? Eh? You go drink out. <laughs> take, take, take. Make I go, make I help you. Rush on, rush on, rush on. No, be half. I Which half? You will make me drink. <laughs> I'll give you a hint. <laughs> Lights in, in all. Nepa, Nepa Road. Ah! <laughs> Nepa Road. Nepa Road. In Avel Kuta. First of all, my brain cannot uh, memorize everything. A big black bug. A big black dog. Bug. A big black bug. Oh, sorry. A big. <laughs> <laughs> it all starts. Omo ah hey, Omo Omo fella. Omo Omo Anikola Pokuti. Oh no, it's my audition, it's not my audition. Eh? Eh? 